what that is not on me at all. What's going on, everybody? It's your man Lyndon Britt and Baby Britt. Hey, hey. From Breakfast with the Brit. Sorry about the delay. And uh, the little baby in the back. And and the little fella in the back, of course. So sorry about the delay on things. Getting everything in order to get ready to leave the house, headed to church. I hope you all are having a blessed and wonderful day. And while Facebook is building an audience, as you all hop in here, just let everybody know where you're viewing from. Today we're going to be talking about a nice topic there at, uh, called uh, No Greater Love. No Greater Love. Miss Jenny, what's going on? Appreciate you hopping in. How you doing today? We got to uh, get together, finalize a couple of things on the stuff that we're working on. So, but let everybody know where you're viewing from. It's some wonderful things. I hope you all are having a blessed and wonderful day. It is beautiful out here in Dallas, Texas, as we're about to head to church, doing some wonderful things. But I, I, I just can't wait to go ahead and get into what we're going to talk about today. Um, and I'm, I'm very excited. We're already late, so I'm not going to delay. As Facebook is building the audience, like I said, when you hop in here, even if you watch and record, just let us know where you're viewing from. Love to be able to connect with new people and meet new friends and establish new relationships and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. I'm, I met a young lady in the UK. She said on the southern part of England yesterday, just connected with somebody. And while it was four o'clock our time, it was 10 p.m. their time. So it's pretty great just being able to connect with people all over the world. So just let everybody know where you're viewing from. Um, this is going to be a nice message that I really hope a lot of people re that, that it resonates and actually touches your heart to, to go out and take effect and do the same thing with this one so there's a share button down at the bottom of your screen share this thing out get a couple more people on here view this thing so they'll be able to hear this message as well you know on breakfast with the bridge we like to bring a little bit of the word and um motivation inspiration as it pertains to your your spiritual growth and stuff like that we don't we don't typically talk business during the, uh, during the week i mean during sunday so hope you all share this out to get a couple of people uh on here as well but today we're going to be talking about no greater love um yesterday one of the most uh, heartless, I mean, heartful, uh, well, selfish less, I guess you could say, selfish less events happened, uh, and it, and it hit home, hit home. Last year, I don't know if you all been watching, uh, my page or not, Lyndon Britt, there was a repost from last year, I had a aunt that had, uh, breast cancer, and she was, she's a breast cancer survivor, and this past year, previous year, if you go back and look throughout my page, matter of fact, I may... I don't care how long. I may go back and make that my profile picture for a while so you all be able to see it. But my wife and I took some pictures to support breast cancer. And it was for my oh, aunt. Breast, breast, cancer breast cancer awareness. It was for my uh, aunt's, aunt's fight toward uh, breast cancer. And when you see the picture, you know what it's about. I mean, we, we got... A little bit of grief from a couple, a couple of folks, which is which is typical for a lot of people that that don't agree with something that they wouldn't do themselves or have a fear of doing themselves that don't feel comfortable doing. We, we we weren't upset, we and we didn't hold it against them, but then we got a lot of support behind it because of the message that we were sending about doing it. Like I said, I'll make that picture my profile picture. You all be able to see it later because of course when you change your profile picture, Facebook notifies and updates and stuff like that, so you all will see it. Uh, if you hadn't seen it already, uh, but this year uh, we had the we had another breast cancer. Um, uh, uh, what do you call that situation? Uh, how do you how do you call? It? Got diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, I know what's ha what happened, but I'm trying to think of the word. That, but we a had a breast cancer patient. Yeah, I guess a breast cancer patient. That's what we call. We had another breast cancer. I was, I want to say incident, but incidents go away. <laughs> But, well, um, we're going to call it an incident because if incidents go away, we need this to go away. Oh, man. Well, you got it, though. We had another breast cancer um, patient hit home. It hit home for us once again. There was a great friend of ours that had been diagnosed with stage 2. Uh, what's going on is Nora, uh, but she was she diagnosed with stage 2 stage two breast cancer. So it hit home for us one more time. And the one thing that I've got to say... Um, What's this? What's where is that? Because I didn't look it up before we came in. There's no greater sure. love. Yeah. No greater love is this. Um, that a man lay down his life for a friend. Yeah, it um, is. My wife's about to look it up. There's no greater love than this than a, when when a, when well, that a man lay down his life for a friend. John 15, 13. John 15 and 13. Okay. And we we didn't necessarily lay down his life, but when when we begin to love somebody, when we do stuff like that. And I'm doing this to shine a light on the heart of my wife. And this isn't about this isn't about her. But the fact that I want to tell you, if you have someone that means something to you that's very special, 
do something about it. Let that person know. Express to that person that you really love them. Go out of your way to let them know that you love them. I don't care if it's your wife, your children, if it's a great friend. If it's a good friend that you consider a great friend, they really don't even know how much you mean to them. Because what happened, and I will, I will give you the story. Matter of fact, I shared the live yesterday. I, I shared the live yesterday, and uh, so you got a chance to see it. If you hadn't seen it, go back and watch the thing and share it out. What happened was my wife, she, matter of fact, I will let her tell the story. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to her, and she'll tell a little bit about what happened. But, well, I'll give a little bit of what happened. My wife had hair almost halfway down. It was probably like an inch or two from the middle of her back. What's going on, Q? What's going on, Derek? She had hair down to about the middle of her back, literally, when she combed her. She wore it up in a ponytail a lot of times, so a lot of people didn't realize how long her hair was. She didn't, she didn't want to do it every day before she went to work. But it was about, literally, about an inch or two away from the middle of her back. And yeah. it's gone. Look, cut it she off. cut it all off for the sake of support for the uh, for the friend that has a that's been diagnosed with breast cancer. If you have someone that you really love and you really want to express your love, do it. You don't have to do it. Find find your own special way to do it for her. And um, there are several things that we're doing right now. And it was a shock to it was a shock to um, Katrina. Her name is Katrina. What's her last name? Johnson. Johnson Lewis. Con Katrina Katrina Lewis. And we, we love you, Katrina, if you happen to see this. Um, it, it was for Katrina Lewis, who has been diagnosed, and within a matter of month has lost all the hair doing chemo and stuff like that. Matter of fact, and once again, I'm going to let my wife tell the story. I'm going to pass the story to her while I'm driving. Yeah, I'm going to try not to cry because I... So, it, it's not really about me. That's how... That's me. I feel like... Um, it hit her. It hit her hard. Like within a less than a month, she lost all of her hair, and um, it's just been it's just been a burden. It hasn't really been a hard burden, but it's been a change for her, a big change. And to God be the glory is all I can really say because everybody know how I feel about my hair. I love my hair. Love my hair. And when you go through things, you need somebody to support you. And a lot of people feel like support is monetary or support is what can I, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. What kind of, what kind of, oh, smash. What kind of worldly possession I can give to you? What kind of. You know, that's that's not always support. Sometimes you have to show people support differently. And I'm an outside-of-the-box thinker. But my thing is, that was not about me at all. At all. And I appreciate all the love and support that I received yesterday. But please, show your support for Katrina. I will actually tag her in this. Y'all just keep her uplifted. Pray for her. And know that that wasn't me. That was all God. God gets the glory. God gets the credit. There is no way I can take any of that credit. When God moves in your life, he moves you to do certain things that he knows will touch somebody else and what they needed. And when I was praying about it, I just kept asking God, because I've been wanting to cut my hair for a long time, but then it's, it's been a little different, you know. But when God touches your life, he touches you to do certain things. And just be obedient to what God has you to do, because that's all that was for me was my obedience. It wasn't anything else it wasn't anything else and if y'all know Katrina Katrina always smiles I don't care what she's going through she's always smiling she's always happy she's always positive and to watch her break down broke me down and it caused God to move in a different kind of way so I kept telling her all I want to do is see you smile all I want to do is see you happy and what happened was God made her happy God made her smile and he may have used me as a vessel but the ultimate goal was God gets the glory and that's all that matters is that God gets the glory out of all of this this is not about me this is not about you know I just I don't know I don't know how to explain it I don't know how to explain it all I can tell you is that God is real and you should try him. Thank you so much, Jenny, for prayers for her. I'm going to tag her in it because she needs to see that other people are praying for her. It's It's been a journey for her. 
But if you know somebody, like Pee Wee said, if you know somebody who all they need is a little bit of support, figure out some kind of way to support them. And don't do it expecting anything back. Don't do it feeling like that's what you were forced to do. Do it because God put it on your heart to do it. That's what we are here for. And let me, let me interrupt you right there. I want you to try something new. Try something new. This is what a lot of people, and we talk about this a lot in business and stuff like that, about connecting with people. And sometimes when it hits home, it's easy to do it when it hits home, but not a lot of people think about it when it doesn't, when it doesn't affect them. Take that time, whether it's today, anytime this week, and something like that. Thank you, Anthony. Like they say in, in Boy Scouts and stuff like that, how they work to get their badges by doing things to help other people, like helping old people cross the street. Take the time and do something for somebody else. Every day. Perhaps you, perhaps you happen to be looking up and see see an older person having a hard time getting up, walking around, or perhaps you you know of someone. You can walk to a hospital and see several people that are going through discouraging situations. And a lot of those people don't have support. I can't tell you how many times that somebody might be in the hospital and not have any visitors because family or friends don't come see them. Rick, take that time out and show people love. Take, <laughs> take that time out and go, go show some love to somebody that you don't even know. And that can really make an effect. That support makes a huge difference. I want you to think about a situation that you may be going through in your own time. And you feel like you're just getting down and down further and further. It's more discouraging. It's more depressing sometimes. And then a complete stranger walks up to you and just say, hey, it's going to be all right. I know that's happened to me before. And you would be like, okay, how does this person even know I'm going through something? God sends things in your direction to let you know he still cares. I know this happened to me several times. And it makes a big difference when you become that person that just walks up to somebody, complete stranger. They, they could be going through the worst thing and be just like Katrina and walk around with a smile on their face. And then somebody walks up to say, it's going to be okay. Even if you just walk up and say, it's going to be okay. God will put it in your heart to talk to the right person. That I know. So I mean, and you don't even have to know what's going on. But be a blessing to somebody else. Be a complete blessing to somebody else. Today, tomorrow, each and every day, make it make it your duty to bless somebody else in some manner, even with your words. Like I said, a lot of like she said, a lot of people look at it, it has to be monetized. I don't have any money to give this person, so uh, I can't do anything. You see those things where people always want to donate money. Well, no, I don't have any money to donate, but there are several things that you can do. Even if you happen to stop and pray with somebody for a few minutes, be like, do you mind if I just take one or two minutes just to pray with you? I see that you're going through something. I see that you're aching. Do you mind if I just stop and pray with you for a second? All right? So it, it, it takes some time to care for somebody else. And it makes a difference. You have to understand that the scripture says no greater love is this than to lay down one's life for a friend. And so you have to understand that God gave you life. God gave you life. And he gave you life to give to somebody else. And a lot of people look at that scripture and think, I'm not going to die for nobody. Yeah, they take it literal. You take it literal. It's not about that. It's about you giving. It's about giving. Giving an ultimate sacrifice. An ultimate sacrifice for somebody else. And it does say friend. It does say friend. But you have the key word in that is to give. And so... When you do things, and y'all excuse me, I'm, I, some things just really touch home for me, so I cry. That's okay. I'm okay with being transparent, but um, Bless. whatever. Hold on, baby. Sometimes you have to understand that giving is not going to always be easy. As much as I love to give, as much as I love to you know, help other people, because I'm a giver. I'm a natural born giver. It's not always easy for me. Cutting my hair was not easy at all. At all, it was not easy. However, when you got great people in your life and you have people who support you, my husband supports me and it makes it so much easier for me to do things. But sometimes I get uncomfortable and that's okay. That's a normal reaction. Sometimes I get nervous. That's normal. But I don't worry because I know that in the end, God will give me exactly what I need to supply for other people. And it's crazy because being transparent, when I did that yesterday, when I decided to cut my hair yesterday, it was emotionally draining and physically draining. Even though it wasn't shown on the video, I did have my moments where I wanted to cry and my tears because it was many emotions going on. I was not only losing my hair, but another friend of mine was losing her hair. 
not only was I giving, I was giving something else for somebody else, but she's given so much just to keep a fight up for herself. And so sometimes you have to just, you have to give and you have to allow God to move you in that, in that particular way. However, God allows you to give, give and don't give because you know, you won't, I'm going to give because I want God to bless me. No, give because that's what you want to do. Don't expect anything in return. I don't care how God blesses you because the Bible does say, giving it shall be given back to you, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. But don't give expecting that. Because it's already spoken, it's already written that it will be given back to you tenfold. However, when you give, give because that's what your heart desires. Don't give with the wrong thought and the wrong heart because it will not be received in the same manner that you want it, that you think it should be received in. Give with a giving heart. The Bible says God loveth the cheerful giver. Doesn't matter what you give. If you know somebody, or even if you don't know, if you notice that somebody, because you can pay attention to people. If you pay attention to people, you can tell when they're going through stuff. No matter how much they smile, no matter how much they laugh and cover it up and put on a face, you can tell when people are going through things. The first thing you do before you give is pray. Pray and tell God to bless you with the things that you you need to give. And then pray and tell God to, to um, bless whatever you're giving. Whatever he tells you to give, tell God to bless that gift. And then tell God to bless your heart so that it will be pure in your giving process. So for me, you are a beautiful person and your haircut is well. Thank you so much, Jenny. And what I kept telling people yesterday, because is, is, is my cup emptied? I use a cup. I always say a cup. But as my emotional cup emptied, as my mental cup emptied, so many people poured back into me, which allowed me to pour even more. My cup never was empty. No matter how much it was on its way to empty, it was filled right back up with other people and their love and support for Katrina. So... If you have a second and you're on here or even you watching this later on, just po put down here in the comments that you're praying for Katrina, but sincerely do it. If you're not going to do it, don't post it, please. If you're not going to do it, don't post it, but post it if you really will pray for Katrina. Anthony and Jenny, I appreciate the fact that you guys are sincerely praying for her. That makes the biggest difference. Sometimes you don't really have anything to give. Me and P, we don't have a lot of money. But God blessed us to give something else. And so sometimes you don't have anything to give. Find a way to still give. Find a way to still support. I have my hair. Look. And it don't look like a lot, but it really was. And my hair, I'm going to give it to Katrina. She can throw it away or do whatever it is she want to do with it. But it was a sacrifice for her. And it was way more than I expected it to be. And I'm so grateful that God allowed his self to be shown through me so i appreciate all the love and support that you guys gave me and katrina but at the same time to god be the glory because that was neither one of us that was neither one of us neither one of us were worth what god has done through anybody period and then while i have y'all on here she has a gofundme account and um brit impressions Pee Wee and i are also doing a fundraiser for her with shirts we're making shirts for people and we're doing we're giving her all the proceeds so if you have if you do have i'll post it in here there are ways that you can still give because she does need she still has needs and and this you know it's deplenishing little by little and she's gonna need help pray before you give I don't care what you give if a prayer is all you can afford to give a prayer is all that you have to give give it because god will bless that prayer just be you allow god to use you and you keep bless you keep being blessed and allow god to keep blessing you remember life is not always you dying for somebody life could be something else there is life in hair your hair has to live you see what i'm saying there is life in hair. So I gave life yesterday. What kind of life can you give? There is life in prayer. Can you give a prayer? Can you give um, a prayer? That's life. Prayer is life. There is life in so many things. If you can pick a flower and give her a flower, there is life in flowers. 
Do you see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be bought. You can go to the corner of the street and you see a pretty flower and made you think about Katrina. Pick a flower and give it to her. There is life in that flower. You never know how you can bless somebody else with the smallest gesture. If all you can give is a hug, give a hug. Because there is life in hugs. I'm telling you, there is life in everything. You don't have to be literal about it. You don't have to go and die. The Bible says, I come and come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That means there is more to life than just life itself. Come on, y'all. You got to think outside the box sometimes. You have to understand how God works and how he moves. There is life in so many other things. Are you willing to give life for your friend? Are you willing to give life for somebody that you don't know? Give life to. Give life to. Are you willing to give life to someone? Are you ready to give it for? Are you ready to give it to? So the 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 right now the biggest thing is go out and give somebody life. I hear so many people say, "Oh my God, they gave me life." That is a real statement. It is so real. Can you give life today? Can you give to life today? Can you give for life today? What can you do? No greater love. No greater love. So again, you got something else to say? Okay, we out. Share this if you felt that it was a value or if you feel somebody else can use it as a value. But please understand everything that happened yesterday, that was not about me. That was not about me. We appreciate y'all tuning in to... Um Breakfast with Bebe. I just want to the breakfast with the Brit. She just took over. <laughs> That's so what I do. Appreciate y'all taking tuning in to breakfast with Bebe. <laughs> and I, I'm unapologetic about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm unapologetic. I don't apologize for my tears because I feel like transparency is the only way to help people. Be transparent. That's my baby, y'all. Say hi, Alex. Hi. Say to God be the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. See. Got to teach him. Train up a child. He go. I teach him to give, and so does his parents. Give. Give. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all. See y'all later. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure y'all join me for more on next Sunday. Breakfast with the Brits, aka Did you Breakfast say join with Bebe. Join us. I'll join her. Breakfast with Bebe at 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll see y'all next Sunday. Appreciate y'all hopping in here. Love y'all. Throw, the, throw the, the thumbs up, the hearts, the shares. Invite some people to see this thing. And just hopefully we, we want to impact a whole lot more people to, to begin giving more to other people. I mean, it, it, when you get out of self, the one thing that I learned once again, the most selfish thing you can do is to be selfless. So be self, become selfless and start helping someone else. All right, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day today. And before we go, if y'all have anything y'all want to hear us talk about or y'all want um, us to share with people, post them in the comments. Tag us on a daily basis. You know, it don't matter when you think about it. Think about it and give. Make, uh, post it and, and we'll do it. I'll post some information up underneath for Katrina. And y'all have a blessed day. See ya.